Okay, I'll try this at 108, which is like a moderato, not quite an allegro, but getting close gives us the idea of how it's all supposed to sound, and then I'll run through some of those trouble spots, the shifts and stuff, so you have them to practice. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> about maybe this bit at the end of the first line first. So I think you can get yourself up to there. So like the th uh, third and fourth measures. Okay, so now the shift happens. We're gonna be first finger on the A string in third position, D note, going to another D note. So that's an octave. And you wanna definitely move your thumb. And like I said, kind of crowd up into the violin. So then once you're there, the finger uh, pattern is going to be, so you have a C natural. So whole step back and then whole step up. So all those are whole steps. And then just move your two back a half step. So that's the end of the first line. And then get into the second line. You're in third position. And so you're still there. So just shift down, and then when you come back, so the end of that, so second line, first measure, last note, you're back on this one, and you're gonna go to your fourth position. So you're on the E string, um, this is a C, and you wanna put your one right here. So it's like a half step down, but you're going up. And then the second measure of the second line, you're gonna do four, uh, one, four, one, uh, one, four, one, three, and then take this open E. Okay, so nice thing about a video, you can just keep rewinding. Um, and then the end of this section right before the repeat sign. And it looks like there's some little staccato dots there. So we'll, we won't do like a smooth slur. It's just a little down, down. And this is just a four, two harmonic. And you just kind of heavy, light as you go. So you get the harmonic. Okay, so now let's go to the beginning of the third line. So you've just come up to third position. And now here we are, third line. Here's a two that's gonna be close. And then you're gonna go and now put this one where this three would go right next to it. I'll show you that spacing. Let's see, so the B. And then the vibrato helps if you keep the one down. There's something, you know, you kind of vibrato both of them, get the one going and the four um, goes along for the ride. So um, the next part's in first position, and then the last two measures of line three here, we have the shift up to the harmonic. So just extend up, it's just kind of when you just hit the violin and, and um, have a straight pinky, for most of us that's about the right spot, and you come back. Little extension. Good extend for this one. Just up the A string a little bit, those would be across from each other, or go to first finger. That's the end of that line. And then um, right before this next 
repeat sign and the key change, we have this, this G sharp to harmonic. We're going to, basically we're in third position, but we're just extending into a harmonic, harmonic, and then just kind of like retract back and here's your two. So that's the B note. And this uh, G sharp's a four and the E's a two. So that's that little part. And then the key change happens. So let's find, um, let's see, the end of line four. There's another one of these. So you're gonna come up, um, the last measure of line four. Let's see, sharps now. Okay, so here's your first finger on the A string. And now you're gonna go to that D again. So that's that octave. And here's the beginning of line five. Now this is a C sharp, so it's close. And then we do that same fingering. Let's check out that fingering there. So close. Now this is a, so it's a whole step and then a half step. Now unfortunately this two is a little ways back. Whole step, whole step. So that's that part. Okay, then while you're playing this A, I'd immediately just go up to what feels like your fifth position. For most of us, that's when the thumb is in the crook of the neck and we're kind of splayed out over. So that's that one. Now there's actually a few notes in between this four and that three. So um, it feels to me like almost like what a whole step in first position would feel like or even a bit further. It's, it's a little ways back for sure. So this is that second measure of line five. So that's on the E string. Now I'm gonna come down the E string three, find my three in third position. Uh, let's see, it's a sharp. And then I'm gonna go and find a four on the A string, and the two, and a high four on the D. And that's that whole measure. And then I'm gonna come back, this is the third measure of line five, one on the A string, third position. I'm gonna shift up now, I'm gonna find a one where this three would normally go, and it's an F sharp, so it's like a high three. But I'm gonna play it with a one. So, it's hard doing this slow motion. And then, so that's one, three, two on the E string, and then four on the E string. And that's that whole bit. Let's try that. So I'll show you the spacing here. That's that. And then, kind of home free at this point. It's not too hard. So then just, um, this is the fourth measure of line five. So just a little shift third, fourth finger, two, four, that's a high four, two, one, three, high one. Okay, so I'll show you that measure here. So like between that one and that one, those are different. And between that four and that four, there's a little bit of a stretch. Then just go to first position through an open A. Back to third on the E string. So that is the second to last line. And now the final line, this part, um, I would just keep the threes down for a little while. G sharp and then a C sharp, an A. So that's just a bit tricky with finger patterns and not to mention all of these string crossings, but um, anyway, so then the last two measures, you're gonna go to this harmonic. Again, just kind of third position, but extending the four nice and flat and, and light on the string. And then there you just kind of you know, you've extended and you retract back, you find your three, this is a C sharp in third position. Four, two, one, three. So that's the second to last measure. I'll 
I'll show you the spacing this way. Okay. Ah, I'm mixing it up with a different part. Let's see, my screen went blank. There we go. Yeah. I'm forgetting it again. Okay, so similar to the other part. There we go, so. So it's like this. It's this three. So that's a whole step apart there. Different strings, but. Okay, and then we're gonna do open through an open string down to uh, first position. And that's just a little extension. Done. <laughs> that's the hardest one for sure. So get through that. All the other ones are so much easier. Good luck.